Eventually, your TT countdown goes from months to weeks to miles to go to the boat. Next stop, Road Racing Mecca. Honestly, I, I wouldn't believe someone if they said, I went to the TT and didn't really fancy going again. We've all been on holiday where food's crap and this is shit and that's shit, but then you never hear anybody come away from you and go, that was a crap, I didn't have a good time, I had a man. Said no one ever, like, who's, <laughs> who's ever done that? I've never heard it ever, because that, that doesn't happen. You're off the steam packet and straight into a quick lap. It's goodbye reality and hello fairies. There's no one that would sit anywhere around the course, watch it and go, oh, is that it? I always say to people when they're talking about going to TT, you know, it's, it's quite expensive and, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. And people who've wanted to come for years and gone, ah, oh, put it off, I can't really make it happen this year and they finally made the effort to come. And then to sit and watch what these guys and girls do. Every single one is the same reaction. They're like, that's it, I'm coming every year now. When you get there, you won't be disappointed. But once they've experienced watching it, that's it, they'll just, it's in them. If you come and experience it once, you know it's the best couple of weeks of the year. I always say to them, if you've had a crap time, I'll give you your money back. I think you just have to have an understanding of life. I think that's really cool. And I think uh, we need more of that to, to get more people into it. So just who are all these people? You've got your hardcore like TT road racing fans that, that come to this, but then now also what I think is an awesome thing for the TT is that we're starting to get a bunch more people who almost weren't even a fan of bike racing at all before. And I've, I've seen it, I've seen young guys that I would expect to see in a fun pub in Stoke on a Saturday night. You know, I've seen them and the way they're dressed for a night out at the side of the track. And they've sort of seen videos and seen documentaries maybe or something about the TT and they're like, I want to go to that and go and experience it for the atmosphere and the festival and they're not necessarily a hardcore TT fan, don't know any history, don't know anything really too much about how it works. I think it's broader now, which I think is good. They just want to come and experience it and I think it's a bucket list event. You have to once in your lifetime come along and watch this incredible event. We need more people to the event. We want more people to the event. We want people to experience what we're all experiencing because it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> That's what we want. We want other people to understand what we understand and what we feel. This is here, it exists. Come and experience it. You won't regret it, you know, regardless of whether you're 16 or 66. Now, of course, there'll always be those that will say it was better back in their day. But every day is a new one during the TT, a fresh chance to witness something special for the first time. One thing's for sure, to a true road racing fan, the best TT ever is the next one. I'm not a big fan of like going to watch racing because I always want to be racing myself. When I come to the TT in 17, to spectate, I wanted to race, but I said if I ever can't race, I'd come every single year for the full two weeks, if not more. Two whole weeks, a week of practice, a week of racing. There's not there's not many events that run like that. Obviously the TT was my childhood fortnightly holiday and the best holiday you could ever go on ever as a kid. Do you know what I mean? But we are on holiday, I always say that, like come here and lots of people have came here on holiday to watch bikes. I've came here on holiday to race bikes. Yeah, it's just nice to try and absorb a bit of it and because it only comes around once a year, doesn't it? The most fun two weeks of the year, it's, it's mega. The road racing fans are very fanatical as regards to racing because again like I say they can ride the circuit as well. Half an hour again after the race is finished they can be riding the same track as their heroes. If you're a football fan you couldn't just jump on Old Trafford and kick the ball around after <laughs> whoever the football hero is at the moment whereas here you can. After the race you can come back to the beer tent, the lads are in there, you can meet them, get a selfie, an autograph, talk to your hero. That's again what makes it so special. TT has access all areas you know. Obviously, I love going for a wander around the paddock, but you say I'm a TT fan at heart myself, so. I think the open paddock thing's so important for motor racing. Even you, like some MotoGP, you go to MotoGP and you see, you know, Quattararo go around, but 
as long as there's a hole in your ass, you're never going to bump into them walking through the back of the pits unless you can get an access all areas past. The likes of Michael Rutter, John McGuinness, and Hutchie, they've all been people I've grown up watching, so I love going for a little look round, seeing like the other teams and seeing what they're up to. I was just talking to Dean Harrison last night and he's just there sorting out his gear in for his bike for tomorrow and for me that's why I think the fans love it so much, is the fact that they can meet the heroes and and feel as if they're part of the team as well. So, And it just gives everyone that little insight into it really and I think that's uh, that's what makes it a little bit more special. A hundred percent. The atmosphere around a road racing paddock and especially the TT paddock is like no other paddock. All the riders get on, everybody wants to have a bit of a laugh. You know, everybody's mates as well. It's really good that everybody gets along and does things together and yeah, as I say, just a, just a real good atmosphere which you don't really get anywhere else. I've always said that the TT is like a biker's Glastonbury, whereas everyone's there for the same reason, to have fun, enjoy the passion. Okay, it's not music, it's motorbikes, but it's still phenomenal that, you know, everyone's here for a good time. It's your favourite part from your favourite tune, played on repeat as loud as it'll go for a fortnight without ever getting boring. Everyone that listens to it loves it as much as you do. Ridiculously, this isn't just about the most amazing road racing spectacle on the planet. Motorbikes do other things too, and on the Isle of Man, the chances are that somewhere, someone is trying to do that faster than somebody else during TT Fortnite. We come for the bikes and the racing, but we come back for the love of the island and everything it lays on for us all. Building more attractions into the actual two weeks of the year is good. It's, it's great for the island. Being a business owner, it, the more people that come to the island, the better. So the more attractions that there are during a TT fortnight to bring people to the island, I'm all for it. I think it's great. It's just being together. To experience that, that festival atmosphere. I think the event lends itself well to the festival atmosphere Something else running alongside the racing, so it's not just purely about the racing. Who doesn't love a bit of live music? It's another attraction, really. Meeting people, you meet people from all over the world that have come over and make friends and what have you. And You've got the likes of people in blooming South America that love it and feel it, and New Zealand and Australia and that normally never see it, go, what the f is this? And everything that encompasses, you know, that goes on away from the track, away from the course, you know, during those two weeks is all part of it. Yes, the TT has changed a little bit, but it needed to. Unless, of course, you think that merely telling your grandkids about it would be enough, which, of course, it wouldn't. The sun will always shine on the paddock and the speed will always grab your senses. The event's really progressing a lot. I think the hiatus has really given the organisers chance to capitalise on that extra time. And they've done a mega job with it so far, I think. I think there's, there's more to come still. As we know, even next year is going to change a lot. The format's going to change. There's going to be more races. It's going to finish on a weekend. Ultimately, you've got to change it as well to, to get some fresh blood into it, to spread the word and say, look, you need to go here and have a look at this. This is just phenomenal. Personally, being young myself, um, like 24, everything's on your phone, isn't it? So you're constantly on your phone. I personally think the way with the live TV, even for my granddad, he's 80 years old, he was made up with the live TV. You could sit there for 14.99 to watch live TT racing. I think it's a bargain and I think it's been very successful. I paid the £15 and watched the first few races and then jumped on a boat, came over. 
everything on the social media and all that kind of thing, I think it's the, the way to go to get younger people involved. I've got friends at home who are watching it and they're like, it looks amazing. They just go, my God, I've got to have a look at that. And of course that then, again, it, it spirals out of control and they love it and they want to see it and taste it and feel it. I feel like it's just, you've got to sometimes go with the times. It's the start of an incredible new chapter for the Isle of Man TT. It's the first time, of course, we're bringing you live televised coverage. People look at on YouTube and you know the internet and stuff has made the sale of the TT and, and any road racing effectively a bigger audience. That's kind of where they, they're trying to go with it, um, but I feel like it was very successful and I feel like it could go from strength to strength. I think the sport gets bigger. Internet's just made everything explode, social media, everybody's reaching out for different things to explore and obviously with all the, the pandemic and everything else, people were sat at home twiddling thumbs, what should we plan for when we get when we, when we get let out again? So I think it's opened new fans for sure, but there's definitely still the diehards. You can see them roaming around the paddock, can't you? <laughs> but I think the feeling of turning up, especially to a big international event like this is Good buzz. I like to just be a part of it, really. You don't get the what the fuck moments. You don't get that at home watching a live stream. It is something that can't be explained fully. Yes, getting close to the action is all part of it but that makes you appreciate, I think. Getting close to the action makes you appreciate how, what an effort it is for the lads to do what, what they do around the circuit. So yeah, it's just, that's all part of the package as well, being close to it, smelling it, seeing it, feeling it, tasting it. And yeah, it's, it, 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 like I say, it's you access all areas and you can literally get to everything. So it's, yeah, amazing. Nothing compares. Apart from next year, there's always next year. The thing that makes you different from the people you know at home is the same thing that makes you feel so connected at the TT. These are your people and this is your place. This is live TT coverage on TT Plus. Every qualifying and every race live and on demand. Get your TT Plus Live Pass today and secure your place at TT 2023.